Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows XP. Before we start, I want to mention that I'm not responsible for anything that goes wrong to your system. Please try this on an older PC or on a virtual machine first, and back up your files. Now before we start, please make sure to subscribe to the channel as it helps out the channel a ton. Now let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download the required files which will be linked in the description below. Once you've downloaded them, you'll need to run the Visual C++ 2012 redistributable file. So we're going to double click on it to open it, and click on the box here that says I agree to the license terms and conditions. Then click install, wait a little bit, and then click close. Once you've done that, we're going to install the Windows Update Agent. So we're going to double click on it to open it, then click next, then click I agree, then click next, wait a little bit, it shouldn't take too long, and then click finish. Next we need to install an update for Internet Explorer, so double click on the file to open it, then click next, then click I agree, then click next, and then it should take some time, it shouldn't take too long, and then click finish. And lastly, we're going to run the WSUS proxy files. So we're going to double click on the add underscore WSUS batch file to open it. It's going to do its thing, and now that it's finished, we can press any key to exit. So I'll just hit enter. And then we need to double click on the run underscore WSUS batch file. So we're going to double click on it. And then if you get this pop up here, just click on block. Now that it's running, we need to click the start button, and we need to open the control panel. Next, we need to go to security center. Then we need to scroll down and click automatic updates. And then we're going to click this option here that says notify me but don't automatically download or install them. So what this does is it's going to notify us that updates are available but it's not going to automatically download or install them. So once you've selected this option, click apply, then click OK, and then we can close out of the security center. And we can close out of the control panel as well. You might see some stuff happening in here which is completely normal, but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click the Windows key and the letter R to open the run dialog, and we're going to type the following command. W U A U C L T space forward slash detect now and then hit enter or click OK. After we put that command in, you should see some stuff happening inside here if it hasn't happened already. And once you've done that, you should see a pop up in the system tray saying that updates are ready for your computer. Just click the icon and then click download. The window will close and it's downloading the update. After it's downloaded the update, we can click the icon in the system tray and then we can click custom install, then click next and then click install and make sure it's checked. Since there's only one update here, it doesn't give me the option to uncheck it, so we can just click install. And then the window will minimize itself. And now it's finished installing the update. Now that it's finished installing that update, we can run the command again, but before we do, I want to mention quickly what this WSUS proxy does. So what this does is it bypasses the SHA2 code signing support check that Windows Update checks for, because since Windows XP and a bunch of older operating systems don't support SHA2 code signing support, this will just bypass that check and then we can get updates from the Windows Update server. We're not getting updates from an external server or with any third-party servers. We're getting updates directly from Microsoft servers. So if your system hasn't already detected updates, then you can run the command again by pressing the Windows key and the letter R on your keyboard and typing the same command again. It'll be on screen. And then you should get the notification that updates are ready for your computer. And once you've got that notification, you can click the icon again. And as you can see, it's now found a load of updates. So we can scroll down and take a look at them, make sure they're all checked. And we can scroll back up and then click download but we can view the progress by hovering our mouse on top of the yellow shield icon, and then you can see it says downloading updates 3%. Once it hits 100%, we should get a notification saying that updates are ready to install. Now that it's downloaded all the updates, we can click the icon, and then we can click custom install advanced, then click next, and then we can scroll down to make sure all the updates are selected. You can double check or even triple check if you'd like, and then we can click install. The window will minimize, but we can view the progress by clicking on the yellow shield icon. And now we can view the progress of the updates being installed. While installing the updates, you may get this window pop up here. If you do, just proceed with the installation. Just click next, then click I agree, and then click next. And then you'll need to wait a little bit for it to install. Then you can uncheck this if you'd like, and then we can click finish. And then Windows Update will proceed to install the rest of the updates. I'd like to mention that the command prompt window needs to stay open when you're installing updates, otherwise this won't work. And there we go, you've successfully installed updates. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to restart our system, so we can do that by pressing the Restart Now button. And there we go, we've now successfully installed updates. So there may still be some updates I need to install to your system. So again, if you want to check for updates, we need to go back to the WSUS proxy folder, and we need to double click on the run underscore WSUS batch file. And once that's up, we can run the WAUCLT space forward slash detect now command, and then you can hit enter on your keyboard or click OK. And then you'll need to wait for the icon to come in the system tray, and then just repeat what we did before to install updates. So that's it. That's how to restore the automatic updates feature in Windows XP. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like my videos, share them with your friends, and leave me a comment down below letting me know if this worked for you. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.